Hello everybody, this is Jesse from Napco Tech Support, and today I'm going to go over a basic setup for Gemini Access, also known as the ACM, the Access Control Module. These can be connected to Gem P3200s, Gem P9600s, Gem X255s, and Gem C Commercial Series Control Panels. The programming is going to be the same throughout all the panels. First, we need to enable ACM in the system. We do that by clicking on System Options, Enable ACM Assignment and apply and OK. Next we're going to move to ACM assignment and this is where we assign our ACMs to a keypad address. You do this by clicking on the keypad button and it will assign the ACMs the next available keypad address. These may vary based on how many keypads you already have assigned to the system. Now all the access control modules need to be assigned to an area um, there must be a zone in that area that must exist for the ACM to work. If you're using the second door module on the ACMs, they also must be assigned to an area. You would use the areas to restrict access by doors, but we'll go over this in a later video. Some other options that you have are enable to swipe arming. This if you wanted your end user to be able to arm the system by swiping the card twice at the reader. Uh, proprietary access format, this is if you're using Gemini readers and Gemini proprietary cards. Facility code if you're using one. Also the unlock time is set for 5 seconds. This is the global option for all the strike times. Two swipe arming time if you're using it. Um, this can be left at default. Emergency free access. This you'll be using a zone to open all the doors in the event of a fire alarm. You would put the corresponding zone number there. Click apply and OK. Next we need to make access groups. We do this by going into user assignments and we're going to take an available alarm user and change it to a group. Uh, leave the AL level as 2. Arm disarm code type. You would have this here if you wanted the user to be able to arm and or disarm from using the card swipe. If you didn't want that it would be set to none. Uncheck initially off. This will be used to restrict access times which again we will go over in a later video. And assign it to your ACM area. For this purpose, it's going to be area one, because we're not restricting any access. If we want to make an additional group, we would do the same thing. <clears throat> make this one AL level one, so it can't disarm the system if it's armed. And make this a non-armable access group, but also assigned to area one, ACM area one. Next, we move over to our cards tab. This is where we actually program the access cards. Type in the five-digit number and assign it to one of the two access groups that we made, or if you have more. This one we're going to make access group 2, and this one we can make access group 3 because this is not going to have ability to arm and disarm the system. Click apply and OK. And when we go to download, um, you when you download cards you always want to download the user and dealer area quick loader will actually prompt you to do this on a if you're making any significant changes to the ACM configuration or first time you want to download all newer modify would be if you're just adding uh, cards to the system you would click OK it would connect and download just to review we went over a basic setup for gem access also known as the ACM and as always for more information you can visit us on the web at tech.napcosecurity.com thank you all for watching today